Hi, I'm Chad with Move for Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Locrian mode. First off, if you like the diagrams for everything in this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Music Theory for Guitar. And this e-guide will be something that you can study and use as a reference for years to come. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to just go download it. This is part 5.10 from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So this is the last mode of the major scale, the seventh mode. And that's because there's seven notes in the major scale and building a mode off each of those notes, you get seven modes. So the first mode we looked at was Ionian, second Dorian, third Phrygian, fourth Lydian, fifth Mixolydian, sixth Aeolian, and now we're on the seventh and the last one, Locrian. And Locrian is the least useful and least common of the modes. And especially in popular music, you're almost never going to run across it. You'll run across it a lot in jazz, but even in jazz, a lot of times they'll use a different mode over the chords you get from the Locrian mode. So we'll talk about that as we go through. But it is useful to understand and it is still used in more advanced music. So don't just think that there's no reason to look into it. It's definitely important and important as far as major scale goes and all the modes from that and the harmony. And even if you're playing, a different mode over the chords you can get from the Locrian mode, it's still good to understand the actual Locrian mode and what the differences are and the different colors you would get. And it's really hard with the Locrian mode to make it sound like the tonal center. And that's because it really sounds like it just wants to resolve up half a step to its parent major scale because the Locrian mode's parent major scale is a flat two. And our ears are so used to the major scale that we just want to hear the Locrian mode resolve up to the flat two, which is this parent major scale. Our ears are just so used to the major scale, it's really hard when you play it isolated just without any backing track to be able to hear the Locrian mode as a tonal center. So when you're playing it, it's really important to play it over a Locrian mode chord, which we're gonna talk about coming up. But like I said, when you play it in isolation, it's really hard to make the Locrian mode sound like the tonal center. So to get to the Locrian mode, we're gonna start with the Phrygian mode because there's only one note difference. And hopefully you remember that the Phrygian mode is root flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7. That's what's on your screen right now. To get to the Locrian mode from the Phrygian mode, all you have to do is lower the fifth down half a step to the flat 5, and that would give you your Locrian mode. So the Locrian mode is root flat 2, flat 3, 4, flat 5, flat 6, flat 7. So the Phrygian mode had the perfect fifth. You just lower that half a step to the flat 5 or diminished fifth and that gives you Locrian. Or if we compare it to the Ionian mode, because that's where all the flats are coming from, that's how we call them out. We're basing it on the Ionian mode or the major scale. You would lower the two half a step, lower the three half a step, the five half a step, six half a step, and the seven half a step. The only one you wouldn't lower is the four, and that will give you your Locrian mode. So that's why it's easier to look at the Phrygian mode because there's only one note different. When you're looking at the major scale, the Ionian mode, you have to lower every note except the fourth. So with all these flats in the Locrian mode, this is a very dissonant sounding scale and that's why it's not used often, especially in popular music. You have all these flats which make it very dissonant. And what makes the Locrian mode unique from all the other modes is the flat five. It's the only mode with the flat five which as you'll remember when we built chords gives you with a root flat three flat five gives you a diminished triad and it's the only mode that builds a diminished triad all the other modes build either major or minor and the sound you get is a very dark sound and it's a half diminished sound and half diminished means that it has a flat seven instead of a double flat seven hopefully you remember when we talked about seventh chords we built a diminished seventh chord or a fully diminished chord and to get that that was root flat three flat five, double flat seven. So that's the difference between a half diminished and a fully diminished or diminished seventh chord. Diminished seven has that double flat seven. Half diminished has just a flat seven. And half diminished is the exact same as minor seven flat five. And the minor seven flat five is the most common chord you're gonna run across from the Locrian mode. And that's what you'll find in jazz. 
and more advanced blues or more advanced music, but in just regular pop music, you're almost never going to run across that. So when you're playing this mode over a chord, the minor seven flat five is the best one to play it over because it's the most common chord you're going to come across. And it's a more consonant sounding chord than the diminished triad. You don't run across the diminished triad as a chord that often. So the best thing to do is to play it over a minor seven flat five. And the avoid note with the Locrian mode is the flat two. But again, avoid doesn't mean don't play it. Just when you land on it, it wants to go somewhere else instead of just rest on that flat two. And the reason the flat two is the avoid note is because if you're playing over a minor seven flat five or even a diminished triad, you'd have root flat three, flat five, and then if it was minor seven flat five, flat seven, that flat two is a minor second away from the root. So that's a very dissonant interval. But this whole scale is pretty dissonant. So it's just a dissonant sounding scale or mode. So you just have to really use your ears if you're ever going to use it to listen to the best way to use it and what intervals are going to work in each situation. And of course, just like always, the root, the flat three, the flat five are your chord tones over a triad. So those are going to be your strongest sounding tones. And then the flat seven over minor seven flat five. But this flat five is pretty dissonant, unlike a perfect fifth. So don't expect it to sound as consonant as if you're playing a root three five over a minor or a major chord or triad. So just take, like I said, a minor seven flat five. If you're playing G Locrian, take a G minor seven flat five, play the mode, the scale up and down over it slowly, listen to each of the intervals. And this one, you don't have any of the other major scale modes to compare the sound to. It's on its own. It's the only one that has that flat five. So there's no other major scale mode to play over a minor seven flat five because they all have perfect fifths in them. And obviously a minor seven flat five has a diminished fifth or a flat fifth. So this is the only mode you can play over the minor seven flat five from the major scale. So just play it, listen to the intervals, really listen to the sound, and then just start improvising with it, trying to create melodies and come up with solos over it. And that's really going to help lock in the sound of the Locrian mode for you. And since it's a unique mode with the flat five, it's really e easy to recognize over the other modes because it's such a dark dissonant sound. So now we've totally filled out this chart. We've added the Locrian mode. It's root flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. So it's only one note different from Phrygian, which has a perfect fifth. So you just lower that to the flat five. But if you compared it to Ionian, you're flatting everything except the fourth. And it's the only one that creates a diminished triad and a minor seven flat five. So it's very unique from the other modes. The void notes of flat two because it's only a minor second away from the root. So it's a very dissonant sound, but that doesn't mean don't play it. It just means not to land and stay on it usually. The parent major scale is the flat two. So if we look back here, this is your parent major scale, which is your whole step, whole step, half step. And if this was G Locrian, which is drawn on your screen, you have G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, A flat, is your parent major scale. So it's just one half step up from the root of the low grade mode. And then the unique character of course is the flat five, the diminished fifth. It's the only one that has a diminished fifth. All the rest are perfect fifths, which you should know by now. And especially going through these mode lessons, but also when we were building chords and building triads, you knew that those were all perfect fifths in major scale harmony. And because of the intervals in the Locrian mode and that flat five, especially you get a dark half diminished sound or minor seven flat five sound. So it's a very dark sounding mode, the darkest of all the modes. So now we've rearranged the chart to have the Locrian mode as the root. So these are the Locrian mode in every key. We were looking at G. So right here is G Locrian mode. That would be G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. The parent major scale is A flat. And then we've rearranged the steps to follow along. So it's half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. And that's because normally you're right here on the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step that builds your major scale. But now we're starting on this half step. So that's the seventh and final mode of the major scale, the Locrian mode. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where we're going to compare all the major modes together. A really important way to look at modes is to compare them in their categories. So major with major, minor with minor, and really look at the differences between the modes. 
And be sure to download the e-guide. All these diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.